Last week, the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, rejected the petition to recall the August House from recess, arguing that the petition had fallen below the constitutional requirement to force an emergency sitting of Parliament. The Speaker noted that the alleged claim of forged and withdrawn signatures by some members rendered the petition void to cause a recall of Parliament as set out in Article 95, Clause 5 of the Constitution and Rule 20 of the Rules and Procedures of Parliament. Today, the petition has addressed a news conference on how court interpretation was their only hope to what they say is justice. There is no any petition in law because the speaker has ruled and our ruling is final. That is one. Two, which is fundamental and it is meant to seek clarity and cure this ambiguity is that a cross-section of petitioners, who were 127 in numbers, will seek a constitutional court interpretation on whether a member of parliament can withdraw his or her signature once appended. The lawmakers argue that though the speaker's judgment is final, it does not stop them from seeking guidance on how the alleged MPs who sabotage their move access the petition to either withdraw or verify their alleged forged signatures. We've met all the 127 members of parliament who signed on, that, on the petition, and all of them, none has actually acknowledged withdrawal of what? Of his or her signature. So we, es we expect from the speaker a list of names, and then the copies of letters that they wrote to her office withdrawing their signatures. We do not even know whose signature was purportedly forged. How would you know that your signature has been forged? Because we, we had not displayed those signatures. The MPs have vowed to bring up the recall issue on the floor of Parliament as soon as the House reopens in three weeks. For research all, NTV at Parliament.